That's what I was waiting for. For boss battles, the flash ring is the best. Uh, but the blast ring, which you don't get till much later, is amazing for random battles. Like, Lufia can roll up into a random battle with her... In fact... Let's put the Daze Ring on you, Power Ring on you, and the Sonic Ring on you, Lufia. Who is the fastest, actually? 21? Yeah, Lufia by far. Like I said, always super paranoid about this. About whether there's something hidden in these swamps. Because it happens just enough in this game to make you question it. Okay, here's the sweet water. Just go ahead and heal Lufia. Everybody else is fine. Get this last chest and we'll escape out of here. Power potions and spell potions. And a miracle. Alright, so power potions are HPs. Spell potion is int, right? No, that's mind. That's yeah, MP. And these are gonna go on our fourth party member. Right. Escape, escape. There we go. Get out of here. Do 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 do. No, not poison! Bastard. Eh, I really just wish... Oh, I forgot, I just got the bang spell. <laughs> but, you know, it probably not going to waste the MP. We've still got a little ways to walk back. Who knows, might need to heal something. Do I have enough for that rapier? Um... No. No, I don't. However, before we go to the next dungeon, we want to go back to this town over here and stay at the inn. Yes, I do. Uh, fun fact about Lufia. If you do not have enough money for an inn, it still lets you stay. It doesn't, you know, stop you. Which I always found was neat. It's like the people take pity on you. It's like, oh, you poor unfortunate souls, you and your lack of money to even pay like basic uh, in fees <laughs> all right sweet water sweet water ran out that's why I have 30 of them or bought 30 of them this is a door isn't it yeah like I said always paranoid mind potion speed potion and a great potion I think that door right there is kind of hidden, but it's like not hidden in such a way where it's like impossible to see, but unless you're looking for it, you're going to not, uh, well, I'm going to use a float here. Red orbs. With the dread spell. Look at that. I don't think the red orbs are weak to anything. Nah, they're not. Okay, so we're just gonna hit them very hard. Um. I guess we'll just use the flash spell. Oh, right. They used the mirror spell. I got lucky there. Melee attack's gonna be carrying us for a while. I don't actually think there's anything in this one. 
Nope. I forgot how complicated some of these dungeons can get. Thirteen. I'm a little... Mm, I'm not gonna say I'm underleveled. I'm on the cusp of being underleveled, but that's okay. I think this is actually the way to go, so we're gonna go back. There's chests down here that we need to get first. Power gourds, always useful. Mine gourds, not as much, but uh, they can be useful, I guess. Really only for a guru, though. I think more games need items like sweet water, especially these old RPGs. I always appreciate uh, games like from this era that have the ability to cut down on the random encounters. You know, um, Breath of Fire One has a way to do it. You can use the marbles. I forget if it's marbles. I think it's marble threes. Okay, so no, we got to go back. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to do a little bit of backtracking. Thankfully, it's a pretty short cave. Um, what other games have stuff like that? Like, you know, the Dragon Quest games have the holy water, but the thing is, is the holy water is not that useful uh, because it only works on monsters that are weaker than you. Uh, whereas, like, the sweet water in this game or the marbles in Breath of Fire, they work on all random encounters. They just reduce the number flat across the board. Um, Dragon Quest later games do have Padfoot, which does that. Which I do appreciate. But, uh... Oh! My back. Whew. <laughs> uh, I was at a party yesterday with my... Uh, at my sister's house. And I was walking outside with her dog, helping her carry some... Uh, I forget what they're called. Chafing dishes. That's what I was doing. We were going out to get the chafing dishes. If you don't know what chafing dishes are, they're something you put on a table and you put those little uh, fuel light things under there and it keeps food warm. And just minding my own business, a wasp runs up on me. And I am allergic to uh, one of the kinds of wasps we have in this area. Um, there, there's two main kind, you know, kinds of wasps we have around here. Uh, we have red wasps and we have black wasps. The black wasps uh, are actually not as aggressive as the red wasps. and But they're still, you know, they're wasps, so they're still aggressive. But I'm allergic to the red one. So I'm allergic to the more aggressive wasps. So I'm just minding my own business. This big, gigantic red wasp comes down and just starts attacking me. It comes up and it starts trying to sting me and I'm I backpedal. I'm back I'm running because um, the only thing you can do when a wasp is mad at you is try to run away. Um, if it's just a singular wasp. Oh, don't get help. But uh Wasps are not like, don't do that. I need my MP. Wasps are not like bees. You leave a bee alone, bee will be fine. The bee will not bother you. You're just going about your business. Um, the only time I've ever been stung by a bee in my entire life was I st accidentally stepped on one barefoot. And it just happened to uh, st sting me. Um, so, anyway, this bee, this wasp was chasing me, and, uh, I was backpedaling away, and, uh, I tripped and fell and landed on my back really hard, and, and I jarred my back and my shoulder and all that. So I'm laying there, and this wasp is still getting ready to sting me, and my sister's dog runs over and eats the wasp.
And, uh... And he was fine. Like, we, we were watching him because, you know, you see those, uh... Pictures on the internet where dogs, you know, they they eat bees and stuff, and the bees sting the inside of their mouth. Uh, wasp didn't seem to affect him. He just ran up, ate it, and it was fine. My sister's still going to be watching him, uh, though, to see if make sure he doesn't get sick or anything. But that's not the first time he's eaten a wasp. But he just ran up, ate it, and uh, saved me a trip to the hospital because I I have to. The black wasps, if they sting me, it makes me feel really bad. Uh oh, mimics. Here we go. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and chunk high arrows at these guys since they're in a group. I don't think these mimics are particularly um, difficult. But I think if you can kill them, you get quite a bit of money. But we'll see. I know there's like a cube enemy later in the game that that's sort of like that. Let's see. So one of them is worth... Meh, that's pretty good experience in gold, though. So yeah, they're worth killing. Well, we're going to do this again because these guys are... That's just too many to sit there and wait. We've got other things to be doing, you guys. Uh. Ouch. So they've got about like 60 hit points, it looks like. Somewhere between 55 and 60. That was a really good, uh, oh, wait. That was a really good strength gain for Aguro. The stats in this game are random. Like, what you get at a level up. So. Really? We're gonna do this again? I have a bomb somewhere, don't I? Guess not. We're just gonna do this. That should should finish them off. Why waste another high arrows? The arrow items are really good in this game. It, well, not arrow. The arrow is pretty bad. Uh, arrows are useful in one or two situations, and then you get like to the mid arrows and high arrows, they're really useful um, for a very long time. Uh, it's close enough to max. And of course the big arrows are actually useful up until... Let me think here. They're useful for a really long time, just take my word for it. And these guys we're just going to hit with do. I don't know if I can one-shot them without the water ring on. But we're going to try. It should be pretty close. These guys are actually weak. I thought they were weak to water. Nah, eh, whatever. It's not that big a deal. They're not that dangerous. And I'm not particularly worried about running out of HP or MP because there's a couple of healing pots coming up. Uh, melee attacks carrying us. Ooh, free smoke ball. Nice. Beetles and sand roses. Yeah, the enemies around here are the a lot of the same enemies you would fight in the desert on the way to um, Syringal. So, huh. 
Hmm. Let's try flash. Decent. Hopefully I can kill. Really? Not do. Bang. I've got 15 revives. I might as well just use one. Stop that! Get up. We're gonna use bang again. Don't kill girl. Ah! Looks like uh, my hero's gonna miss out on some experience here, but that's fine. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna walk in here. 